Uh, now, one concern that a lot of people, a lot of uh, uh, business people and decision makers often have about the cloud is the security. So how do you cloud providers ensure that, you know, their data, which is now not anymore at their, on their premises, but on the cloud is secure? And that's a very good question. Now, uh, it's definitely secured when you're running in a cloud environment, but we need to understand that it's a shared responsibility model. Like, mm -hmm. uh, it would be a mistake for an enterprise or, for, or a consumer to just put that data in the cloud and say, oh, I transferred the responsibility for the security to that my provider. Okay. So it's a shared responsibility model where the cloud service pr provider is responsible of the security of the cloud and the consumer or the enterprise is responsible of the sec security in the cloud. What does that mean to our audience? What it means is that definitely those cloud service providers who are using Google uh, Cloud as, as one of them, they have a battery of engineers and experts uh, in security field and, and a SOC team that's monitoring the environment 24-7, patching everything. They're doing their best to protect their environment mm -hmm. and as much as possible minimize the, the attacks or uh, block and stop uh, intrusions from happening or attacks into happening into any consumer's data or enterprise data sitting in their cloud. But you as a consumer who's putting that data in the cloud, you're also responsible of that data because even with all the efforts done by the cloud service provider, you can do a misconfiguration and expose your data to the public internet. Okay. Cloud service provider as Google cannot identify or tell whether that was intentional because that data set is open to the public or not. So they cannot prevent you from mistakes, uh, yeah. from this type of mistakes, because you cannot tell if it's intentional or unintentional. And there's a lot of innovation also happening in our industry where you, because again, like the model consists of consolidating multiple users or multi-tenancy, we call it, or like different people, different application running as much as possible, consolidated next to each other on a single hypervisor, on a single machine. And sometimes, there's, we find out that there was been ways where a machine can listen to some traffic happening on the same, uh, on the machine, on a virtual machine that's, that's running on the same physical hardware that this initial machine is. So imagine okay. you're running an enterprise is running a, a virtual machine on a server in the cloud, but their yeah. competitor is also running on that same machine and a hacker or a malicious person is running on that same mach physical machine yet. So they might be able to do things to listen, to identify specific okay. things. Also, the other challenge we're seeing today is what if there was a malicious employee at the cloud service provider yeah. that were to take a snapshot of that physical hardware, right? Dump it to a certain wow. USB image and take it home. But there, there's ways to defend against that. So there's something called confidential computing, which, okay. which is something still in research today. And we have early implementation from different cloud service providers which consists of saying when, when you load your data in memory on the server, well, I'm gonna, it's gonna be encrypted. So make sure the data is encrypted in flight, in, uh, in, in flight on transit at rest, but also while being processed. So then okay. if a malicious employee were to take a snapshot or a dump for it, well, it's encrypted. There's also other ways such as uh, TXT or TPMs, trusted platform models, where the processor itself on which the machine is running will be tied to that virtual machine. So if somebody were to steal that virtual machine and try to run it on a different server or a, or a machine, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't even boot because it will detect that it's a different hardware. So I'm not going to let you uh, do that. So there's okay. there's a lot of innovations. There's different ways that are happening. It's an industry that, that is here to stay. There's yeah. a lot of innovation that we still need in our industry for that space. But it's not today something that is blocking the users or the consumers or okay. enterprises to migrate to the public cloud. So, so security is not really a concern for most industries, right? That's what you're saying. Unlike 10, 15 years ago, it was a big challenge and concerns. It was the main reason why people wouldn't migrate to the cloud. Today, we've evolved so much. The okay. offering has expanded so much across different cloud service provider that there's so many ways where you can ensure uh, the security of your data and provide attestation. There's also some uh, compliance frameworks such as the C-Star and others that regulates those cloud service provider in order to follow specific standards and that attest that this is being uh, respected and followed. So I, sh I would say that it shouldn't be, it's no longer the main driver for blocking the move to the public cloud.
אוקיי, אוקיי, I see. 